Hey, Shorty. Hey, Buffalo. Welcome. So anyway, before we got started on that, I thought I would show you a little bit of what I do in my chain pulls. Um, you know, when it, the chain pulls first started, I don't know, um, it's like, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> so of course I got in on it and um, tried it different techniques and stuff, but pretty much I kept coming up with the same irisy looking flower. So that was fine for a while and then I wanted something different. So I began to explore what else I could do with the chains. And um, so I just kind of wanted to share that a little bit before we got started on the boxes. So that's where we're gonna start today. I don't know if you guys have uh, ever done the chain pulls or not, but it's fun. I'm going to do the um, fairy wing, dragonfly wing, and uh, perhaps butterfly wing in the chain pull. And that way y'all can see um, that you can do more if you don't already know. So, And I, I have no idea if it's actually going to work or not. I know the dragonfly one will. Yes. Um, this dragonfly one, buffalo, I started this one yesterday and I did the pull through the wings and then I just wanted them to just kind of dissipate. So I made a couple colors of ribbons and then um, went ahead and just pulled that color in. So that was cool, which gave me the idea. That's on, on this, this box lid and that's just the balloon dip. That's what they'll see. And then the uh, bottom is not done, it's all just black. Um, but it's going to have a very sparkly black and silver resin in it, I think. I really like the idea of fading the wings out into whatever else is going on. I think that would be cool. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Bob. Well, let me just talk about why I'm not happy <laughs> with this. This celebration box. Um, when you use this much color, okay, and you have such a theme that is supposed to be a celebration, right? We've got fireworks, and yet I look at it, honestly, I'm dead inside. <laughs> Not kidding you. It does nothing for me, and that's just wrong with that color and that theme. So something's missing, right? So if you ever run across that problem where you're looking at it going, technically, that's all right, I guess, but inside nothing's happening, then um, don't stop there because art is emotional and people need that healing and they need to feel, ooh, I remember when, you know, and it will remind them of their fireworks experience and all that. And if they look at it and it's like, whatever, um, I'm missing it, okay? So today I'm going to add more water, I'm going to add people because it's the emotions of the people um, that really make a fireworks gathering exciting, right? I mean, the kids are loving it, the parents are cool. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd put a little bit of a beach, maybe just the ideas of silhouettes of people and then see, to, see where we're going to go from there. So I hope you understand what I'm talking about on that because it's it's really just um, all about feeling. That's what art is for me anyway, is therapy and emotions. It should evoke some sort of feeling. And, and right now this is just not. So there's that. I am. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Buffalo. I am my own worst critic. We all are, aren't we, in the art community? which is a good thing because that way it forces us to put out things that are better. I'm not saying it's actually going to work. I'm just saying I have to at least try. Okay, it's got some short uh, chain. I got these at Walmart, I think, in different sizes. And then there's a couple really long chains. If you're gonna do like a butterfly wing and you want all of that in one fell swoop, then get the super long ones. And they do have different sizes as far as those little uh, ball things. So um, I've tried yarn, strings, fishing line, <laughs> wire, you name it, jute. I've tried it all. So um, these are the ones I'm satisfied with. So let me just line these out a little bit to this shorties off here. 
That might be the fairy wing. And what I've got down right now is just on a um, cradle board. It's just wood, has a little frame around it, and that's the back side. So that when you, if you're not familiar with cradle boards, when you hang it, you hang it, you know, basically like this, which gives it a nice straight to the wall finish. You can either paint this all gold, all black, or you can let it come over the side with whatever your painting is, which I love to do that. And just keep that painting going, that image. So you, when you're walking around, it looks like, you know, you can see the whole thing. But what I like to do is flip it around and use these for when I'm doing big resin pieces, like oceans or building up spackling or putting in rocks and shells and making like a foam covered beach, you know, scene. So it's really good because it's already got your dam built. So you don't even have to worry about tape and all that kind of stuff. You just put your scenery down and then start building on top of that. So you put your background first. Anyway, cool beans. But today, for this purpose, I'm going to use the front of it. Welcome, oh, thank you. Thank you for my shell. I've never had one before. <laughs> Very sweet. Inga Potopinka 5. I definitely have to look you up, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna start with some gloves because I'm working with a little unicorn spit today. Welcome everybody. Hi, Sherry Carr. So I was totally blessed this week. Uh, a friend, art friend of mine, paintings by Randall. He's on here. He paints in oils, follow him if you don't very good person. He recommended me for the Byerly Studios shout out, which if you haven't seen that, I'm probably not saying it right. Byerly Studios. Anyway, here hey, it is. North Dakota, Byerly welcome. Studios. Right there on TikTok. There. So because that was the sweetest thing ever. All right, I just want to put some unicorn spit down of any color. Uh, I want you guys to be able to see it. So let's start with just the regular unicorn spit blue. Thank you for the likes, Sherry. Yeah, Buffalo, he is great. Okay, so um, Let's try, this is just dry now, it's just unicorn spit. So if I need to put some more paint on it to get these to pull through the chain, I will. But for right now, I'm just going to do the simplest, hope you guys can see this. Let me get up closer here, maybe. Uh, dragonfly wing, and if I can get it to go. And pretty much just make a crazy eight thingy, you know, like an eight, elongated eight. Doesn't have to be even, it's gonna be messy. And then just another color, let's say white. Do whatever colors you want. And you could do this with acrylic paint as well. And you don't have to do it all. You don't have to do the entire line, just wherever you want. Um, let's get a sparkle in there. And I don't mind that it turns green, so let's put some gold gosling of the unicorn spit sparkle in there. Thanks for the follow, appreciate that. Shannon, oh my word, welcome honey, my daughter. I know you're probably gonna not be able to be in here, but thank you for showing up. You are a busy, busy girl. So I just went ahead and went crazy with this gold gosling. Lots of sparkle. Okay, I don't have a lot of uh, color here, so I'm gonna put a blue sparkle back over here and give it something to pull through. It's gotta pull through some colors or it won't work. 
And if it gets too much, don't worry about it. You can always just dab it off with a paper towel or something. All right, so what I do is once I get my colors where I want them, this is a small chain, but it'll work for this one. And you're going to pull it separately. Don't, don't pull it together. I'm gonna to put some white on the outside of the swing, I think. It's all just guesswork, you guys. That's the fun about it. It's all experimenting. That's what painting is for me. It's just a journey. And so I just lay my chain down on the outside of my paint lines on my unicorn spit. Gather them in the middle and then keep the chain really low, right flat on the surface and start pulling slowly to the center. And as you do, you can start lifting up to give it that narrowing look. Now I should have a glass of water over here to drop these in. It's just easier to clean up. So I'll steal some water from my, just like that. And let's do the other one. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. I'm talking to my, my daughter, you all, in case you, it sounded a little weird. But you should know me by now. I did find something out. I have a difficult time coming from top to bottom. It's so much easier going away from me, so I should have spun it around and used the fact that this isn't mounted anywhere. So there is the dragonfly wing, basically. There's one of them. <laughs> and then what I did is just take a paper towel a little bit of Kleenex or maybe even just your finger and start tapping it down, getting rid of the excess at the same time you're creating the little body. Let's give him a head. Pretty fat body right there, <laughs> just saying. But these are fun and they're easy enough to do with your kids, you know, because I know the kids are home. Just bring down his tail a little bit farther. So there's a start on just a very basic stylized dragonfly. And the wings are very simple, very different. I mean, if you didn't like it, you can always go back and do what I did the other day and just start keep working through it, pushing colors around. And you just get different flows and different patterns by doing it like this that really, you, you really don't get with a brush stroke sometimes, I think. I mean, even though I'm using a brush, you know what I'm saying, pulling through that flow. So if you want to go a little more fun, then you can add like a white or whatever color, but I'm just going to put white and start dragging these like I did this one. Um, I wanted it a little more stylized, so I just took the wings and started dragging them into different colors and breaking them up a little bit. So I'll do this on this one. So I've just put some white around it and I'm just pulling the wings out. That's pretty. I mean, you can stop any time you want, you know what I mean? Like this. You can just make it very small amounts or you can just blend it all into something else. Just every once in a while, pick up some more white and put it back into where the main wing is. And just let it fade out into the white. 
You can use your glove finger to make it more like it's breaking up and flying away. So. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Abstract artist, beautiful. Okay, so let's do the fairy wing. Um, to me, it's usually she's sideways. <laughs> I don't usually have her flying. The only time I had her actually flying was when I did her out of wire. <laughs> My little fairy, so. Um, let's use some bright, pretty color for her wing. And I just, I'm gonna draw like the top little fairy spiky wing and then the bottom with this, just the wing. And of course, a fairy wing can be any way you want because no one actually knows. And there's tons of different kinds of fairies. This is actually a great butterfly wing start as well. <laughs> this is the bottom of the wing. She's gonna be sitting on a rock or something. Put a little purple in it, I mean blue in there too. And with the wings on the fairies, I like to have a lot of empty space in there. Um, and if there's a background already put down in color, the more you just outline the wing, the more cool and uh, frail and thin the wing looks because you can see the background. So sadly, I don't have a background, but so leave some open space on your wing if you've already got a background and you'll have a really transparent fairy wing. It's very cool. Also, um, this for fairy wings, it's opal glitter medium. And I love this for fairy wings or any sparkle that you want to get. I don't know if you can see it it's, anyway, but it's really really sparkly so that's the opal glitter medium I'm just gonna put some in here right now just to see if I can get it with something else and then I'll go to the <laughs> sad sad celebration box there I usually put just this at the very, very end, but you can resin over it too. You can resin over all of this. Just have to spray seal it first with the oil-based spray if it's unicorn spit, just so you know. All right, let's try it. And on the fairy wing, since I'm coming up to a point, I'm not gonna start on my point. I'm gonna start on the biggest part for the pull and hopefully be able to get a nice thin point. And just take your time with it. It's, you don't have to be in any hurry. Put some beautiful music on that you'd like to listen to and go for it. Keep the chain really low. Add some pressure if it's not pulling, um, just by putting some weight on your chain. Wow, that was messy, but it's kind of cool. See, that's the amazing thing about art. It's like, that's not what I saw in my head, but really, it's kind of a cool look. I would probably just add more white and pull it again. So let's try that. And I might as well add the white at the bottom if that's what happened at the top. <laughs> so let me try that. I'm gonna pull the bottom first. The 
The difficult part with fairy wings is like that. It's like they're small usually. They're, they have a specific shape you want in your head, you know. I do like it, I have to say. I'm gonna pull this one more time. Well, let me show you on the bottom. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know what, let me say. My little fairy. Let's pull this one more time. Just a little, I'm gonna leave just some of it dragging. I like that. I'm going to drag back across this yellow. So on this one, I ended up with a couple dots right by the wing, which I really kind of like. If I was going to save this, I would go with that <laughs> just because it's like, oh, dots, and just start putting dots like coming off of her somehow. But anyway, so here she would probably be in white um, or black, one of those colors. And I would just go from there and start brushing out where her body's going to be. It's always easier to go larger than to try and take something back. So go real slow. giving her the idea of some legs that looks like a drumstick, a chicken drumstick right now. But she's got some pretty big wings, so. Give her some blue hair. Sorry guys, got carried away but my fairy. So just, you know, keep going as far at, or as little as you want. It's your art, you do you. My fairies always have the longest feet. I don't know, they just keep going. This is the back leg, in case you don't recognize it. All right, so you get the idea how easy that was 
just to do the wings, even though they're huge compared to her. But it's fun. I mean, she could be by water. Who knows? You can chain pull water. You can, you can do all of that. So I have a little tiny chain left. Well, one. So one more wing. Let's do a butterfly. Simple, simple butterfly. It's the weirdest shaped butterfly I've ever seen, but bear with me. <laughs> Looks like a bow. That's a problem. Let's see. It, you know, my, I'm disappointed. I haven't even started, I'm disappointed. I'm just gonna pull it across, let's see. And come down this swing. Scratch that. Take a fan brush and make one. And all these pretty colors. Just two little arches. And then down. Any which way you want. I really like the way it looks splattered down here. She's going off the edge, folks. Oh, I'm just playing avoiding that box that I've got to paint on. Butterflies, they seem so easy, and yet a lot of times I struggle with them. I don't know if you guys do, it's pretty weird. But I do, I think basically just overwork the fire out of it. So I'm gonna quit on this one because I'm just muddying it up. Uh, don't like that. Try it again and pull from the outside in. That's prettier. But don't give up, don't quit just because it looks hideous. I mean, I know the tendency is definitely, <laughs> I don't know, you guys may not. <laughs> Sorry, y'all's art may never look hideous. Mine does. <laughs> I'm guessing it probably does, guys. You know, everybody's does. At one point or another. But just keep working through it. Seriously, because it, it'll turn out if you don't quit. I, I promise you. Anyway, it's embarrassing. <laughs> there it is, there's your wing, but I didn't do the chain pull on it. But the others are chain pulls, so that's good enough. Two out of three ain't bad. All right, so this is not gonna be any of this. So since it's unicorn spit, I'm just doing that. A little bit of this, some water. And this is why I love the unicorn spit. It's just, you can just keep playing in it. I just want to spread this across a little bit and then I will move over to the celebration box. I just don't want a big chunk of something. So I'm 
just want to blend it out a little bit so I can reuse this easier. If you do this and you're going to start over, just before you quit working on it, if you're frustrated or whatever, just spread it all out, get it to where you can work with it again. That way you're, you're not ruining anything. Otherwise, you may end up with some grooves and bumps and stuff. And if you're texturing something, that's fine. But you may not want to put texture on something. So that's what I do. Get it while it's wet. So Thursday, you guys, we're going to be making the beginning of an undersea, underwater box, treasure box. So, ooh, really like what's happening here. That's funny. But yeah, I can definitely see water here. Place to start on one of our paintings. Um, I've been saying I've been doing, going to do a sailboat. So this looks like a good sailboat background so far. So it, it's it's boring, even though it's a celebration. So I am going to put some black on it, some people, and some more uh, colors. Because I was talking with Sherry today, my sis, and um, I was like, you know, even when the when the fireworks are going off. You can see smoke, you know, because it's like, it lights up the sky, so you can see all the smoke from all of them. And in that smoke is lots of different colors, and there's none of that there. And I think that's part of why I don't really like it very much. The other part is how I explain that there's no people in it. And fireworks, no people, that just ain't right. <laughs> so I want to make it more of a scene. So what I'm going to do is... Um, Thanks, Randall. Is I'm gonna sand a little bit of that off. I don't wanna sand it, you know, I don't care that it's, it's not all coming off. I don't wanna spend that much time with it. Um, but I wanna sand it down a little bit and then I'm gonna start over on that. And I'm gonna use a bigger sand grit because I want a lot of it off. And so the rougher it is, the smaller the number. Just remember that. <laughs> and then it, so this is a 60 and it's rough. And this is a 600 and it's smooth like less than your polisher on your nail stuff. So it's pretty cool. So start with your littler number, which is the big grit. And I'm just gonna stand with the grain for just a second. Sorry, y'all. Um, getting the color off as much as I care about getting any bumps from the color, so that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to go to the larger number, which is the finer grit. Okay, so it didn't take it all off, but it did smooth it down and now I can hang on. So I wanna run a little damp cloth over it, just a little bit of water. Right. <laughs> my mom used to write down all of her colors when she was doing her paintings. I just never do that, but I see why she does. I did. Okay, ooh, I like the way that looks all weathered. I may have something there. <laughs> we'll see. All right, now instead of black, I'm gonna go for a navy blue and it's actually acrylics. I know. Crazy, huh? And some unicorn spit of white. I'm just gonna put that right over the entire box. And yes, those other ones will shine through and that's okay, not worried. Put more of the blue down at the bottom. Just the blue. Come across the side with your colors, because remember you're doing a, a box, so it's 3D. So you want to make sure that you follow it over that same color, unless you want just 
the top image and then the rest is black or a different color, that's fine too. I like to come over the sides with at least the base color. We still might have some in there. I do too. Oh my gosh, I'm learning. I wish I could read this from you guys. Sherry can tell me afterwards, but who said what? <laughs> She's my sis, by the way, Sherry Carr. <laughs> also an artist, fluid artist as well. I just love these little fan brushes, even the synthetic ones. Um, they're inexpensive and they're fun. Okay, I'm gonna go back to our fireworks now. So I want some white and I'll do my unicorn spit of course. And I want a thin brush. If you guys want um, cool, fun brushes, get some nail design brushes from Amazon. And they come in a set of four or six or something like that. And they're very tiny for detail work. If you can see, I don't know. So they have different sizes and stuff, but very tiny. Uh, so they're great for treasure boxes. And I think the set is like $15-ish, up to 20, I don't know. But nail design brushes. Brushes. <laughs> okay, into my white we go. And I wanna just go straight up off center. Doesn't matter if the line breaks up, it probably should. Okay, and I'm going to do it again over here. And one over here. That one's big. Wow. Okay. I don't think I want it that close to the water, but I'm going to just put some more water down. I can always come back over and and take that out. I might do that right now. Okay, remember how we talked about the smoke being in the air? Well, I'm just adding some dark blue and that extra white that I just made that line and then took it out. And so that's actually working. If I have a blue firework, coming off of this, let me show you, see that, well, yeah, see like that? That'll look like smoke in the air that's reflecting those blues. That's what I'm thinking. And that was just with the unicorn spit and the color that you're working with. So I wanna do that again, maybe up higher. Brighten up this one corner maybe a little bit more than the other. I like the where it's a uh, high in one corner and low in another, bright and dark, and then kind of switch that for the bottom. Seems to work nice. I like that anyway, I don't know. I'm just gonna smear that in with my hand, my finger. Just making more clouds, clouds of smoke. Might as well do the clouds first so that we can do the explosion in front of them, right? Maybe a little bit more bright over here on this side. Could be bright across the whole top, who knows? Just making clouds, smearing them in. This one's gonna have some pink, so let's put some pink clouds in there. Same thing, just a pink. Unicorn spit and the color um, of unicorn spit white. Let's put it in there. I'm just smearing it with my fingers, y'all. Making them clouds. I also just put it on with my fingers too. I really like the idea. I think that's going to give it that action or brightness that it was lacking with just the explosions. It just was so nothingness. So. 
oh, that's cool. I've got sparkly spit, so um, <laughs> that sounds weird. But the sparkles are coming off onto the wood, which is nice. We'll give it that sparkle, that shine. Okay, now I'm gonna just use my white again and pull up. I get shooting and then go from big to little. Start out away from it with a big one and then pull towards it. That's what I do. They're gonna all go just weird random ways. I mean, you know, fireworks. So I can take out whatever doesn't work for me and add more. Just big, big bunch of white. That will darken a lot of this. It won't stay. other way on that one. Maybe I should face it towards me when I'm doing these. I'm going to dip it in blue and white for this one. Let's see what happens. ink. Um, it's not alcohol ink. It's just, you know, like if you'd use ink. So, let's see what that does. I like to try different products all the time. Always, always. Just never know what you're missing. <laughs> Gotta try it. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's put it right on top of the white. Ooh. It's a winner. I'm just coming from the center now, going out with my bright pink. I liked it. I think the hardest part for me is to try and keep it somewhat round. <laughs> and some more white on top of that. This one's gonna explode. This one's action right here. random long ones just for pretties I'm just dotting it around it where some sparklies might be coming off of it It's still a mess, I don't know. All right, so, not really loving it, but whatever. 
Let's put some pink in the water for fun. Just randomly, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna put some pink on the wet sand as well. And then I'll do the same with the blue. And I believe these are all glow. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, wow, pal. Okay. Yeah, they are. All right, I wanna take a fan brush. Get it damp. And just all of that mess right there, just run it across and see if I can get it to blend a little bit. it off and do the same at the bottom. There's the blend for the water. I'm gonna add a little bit of white, I think, in that water up here. And then I'll add some black to the sand because I want it to look wet. And black seems to, with those colors, Give it that look. Seems to sometimes. We'll see. To add a little bit more pink, I just took it out, but I, I did like it for a second. <laughs> really. And you can make it as colorful or as plain as you want. A little bit more white. And then straight down for sand. For when you do a highlight on the wet sand, I just like to put some white like that, dip my brush, and then put my fan brush on it, and then just pull straight down going across. It's hard to see, guys. Let me do it a little bit better so you could. Now, let me go straight across again. So I gotta pull it down again. Okay? And then if you're doing your lights and colors, you put your colors underneath. hopefully, and then you can drag across like you do on the water and then straight down. I'm sorry, it's not showing up. Make it brighter and bigger. I wouldn't have it that big, <laughs> but for the sake of showing. All right, let's try the black, blue, whatever. All right, so straight across on your sand. And down. It's supposed to give it that really glassy look. I don't know. I'm having a hard time showing this or anything today. So, <laughs> so there's that on the water. Then I can go back in and put whatever color, wherever I want it. But right now it was just a little too colored for me. I'm just gonna let this sit and dry for a little while tonight. Then I'll end up spraying it and then I can continue to work on it. Without worrying that I'm going to lose what I have. 
because it's unicorn spit. So there's that. Some water. I'm just dipping the edge of my fan brush into white that's already covered with other colors and just dragging it across. Do one little bit more color of the yellow. It's so messy, still don't like it. I'm not giving up though. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> It will be a good box, treasure box, when I'm done. It may not be a celebration. Who knows? I'm just going over it with my finger because you never know what might happen. It might turn out to be a cool look. Like lots of sparkles coming off of this one. See, I like that better. I may dip my finger in all sorts of different colors and do it like that. Who knows? It's kind of cool. Whoa. Okay. I might have gone too far on the pink one, you think? I don't know, let's let's get it going off of it. I don't like all three of them being all at the same level. So this pink one, I'm just gonna go off the edge. I'm gonna bring it down into the water, why not? Definitely gonna have to add more water, more whites, more everything. But still, I still like it better than when I had. Not happy with it at all. Not satisfied at all. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing right now. <laughs> but that's all part of the art journey. Don't be embarrassed to show your stuff in process. It's nice when you have it all finished and you can say ta-da, but you know, it's part of the learning that we can learn from each other when we're having issues and we're working through it publicly. <laughs> I can tell I'm willing to do both because I love both of those projects. So that will be cool. And it's not bad, you guys. It's It'll get better. I need white and I need some more dark and stuff. But really, it'll be better. And I do think I want to add a couple people. But I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now. 